David Axelrod, I, I want to play some sound and, and talk about it, uh, uh, talk about a little bit later on that confrontation, but just let some quick thoughts from, from, from you. Yeah, I think this was a good night for two new generation candidates, for Mayor Buttigieg of South Bend, and particularly for Kamala Harris, the senator from California. I think they uh, took full advantage of the platform tonight. I think it was a tougher night for the most seasoned uh, candidates on the uh, platform for uh, Why do Vice you think President Biden. Because um, they seemed like part of the past rather than the future. At times, the vice president seemed uh, somewhat confused to me in, in handling some of the questions and following some of the actions. He seemed a bit defensive. And Ber Bernie Sanders, uh, we joked earlier, uh, he, he might have been a hologram because a lot of what we, he we heard tonight, we've heard many, many times before. So um, I think they seemed a little bit... Uh, mired in the past, and these other candidates seemed like fresh new faces and uh, and really profited yeah. from this year. Yeah, I think Kamala Harris owned the night. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, a master per masterful performance from her, unexpected in many ways. I think a lot of us went into this debate thinking it would be a brawl between Sanders uh, and, and, and Biden, and it was unexpected to have her go for, for this uh, topic around race uh, and around busing and use her personal story uh, to really prosecute the case against his position on busing. I mean, it's, he it's literally... She also used her opportunities very well. Yeah, she, it wasn't, she did, you know, yeah. Kirsten Gillibrand was right. kind of jumping in she a lot. Went in with a she purpose. kind of waited until the moment and then she really commanded that moment. She, she did. And, and and you know, she obviously a black woman on stage. We haven't seen a black woman uh, on stage in a presidential debate at this level in the top 5 of, of in, in polling right now. So it was a real moment and, and she was making uh, a case that obviously her story matters, her experience matter uh, of of being a, a child uh, who was bust. And what was so odd was that you had Biden actually arguing uh, for states rights, uh, which is is a terrible argument to be making uh, at this point. If you know anything about the history of segregation and the history of this country, uh, and then you had uh, Kamala Harris obviously saying, uh, you know, the federal government had a role to play in this. So I thought it was it was an extraordinary moment for her. It was also kind of risky, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because so. there she was going after uh, Joe Biden. He looked uh, hurt at times uh, during this exchange, uh, and he seemed deflated in, in, in answering, I think, the charges that she was leveling at him. He literally sort of gave up the debate at some point. He was just, you know, sort of threw in the towel. Didn't really uh, want to go further in engaging with her. We'll see what it means. They obviously are, are fighting for the same vote in terms of African American voters. She hasn't really been able to catch on with African, Amer African American voters uh, at this point. But I think she definitely channeled a lot of the hurt and anger that many black people felt uh, when they heard Biden uh, praising, seeming to praise this segregationist and, and talking about working with him. Kamala Harris Gloria also seems to kind of, at times, just cut through the clutter. Uh, you know, it was, and, and that irritating moment, you know, it's always irritating when everybody speaks over each other. And there was a lot of that, especially early on. And Kamala Harris sort of took that moment and made it work for her. She did. I think it helps to be a really good prosecutor in this <laughs> in this circumstance. And she knows how to get to the point, And she did. I do think it was risky uh, with Joe Biden. But for the life of me, I can't figure out what Joe Biden's strategy was during this during this debate. Shouldn't he have been prepared right. that someone was going to talk about uh, his praise for Senator Eastland and, and segregationists that he worked with in the Senate? Instead, he came out and said, that's not what I said, that's not what I said. It was the same old, same old. So I, I think that he was kind of fuzzy, and she was sharp. Mm -hmm. She knew exactly where she wanted to go. She knew how to do it. And when, you know, to your point, when to come in. And I think that he was sort of put off by it, in a way. He was sort of shaking his yeah. head and saying, you know, no. His one good line yeah. was, I decided to become a public defender and you right. became a prosecutor. Right. But again, that's a good right. line about yeah. a contrast with her. Yeah. It's not yeah. extending yeah. his message. I, I think that's right. Yeah, Anderson, I think, you know, sometimes we, we all sit and watch these debates, and sometimes it's very difficult to determine who won a debate or not. And sometimes it's not at all. And, like, <laughs> yeah. this, I, 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 it was so crystal clear that Kamala Harris just completely commanded that stage. This was her debate. Mm -hmm. This was Kamala Harris's moment. This, you know, she shot out of the gate at the beginning with a very impressive launch, and she had a very good fundraising uh, number in that first quarter. And since then, people have been looking for the next Kamala Harris moment. Yeah. This was well, it. 
and it was it's, huge because yeah. it's before she, the biggest audience thus far that any of them have been before. And she just moved herself, I, I think, tonight in a very important way. Yes. You know, she started out with Americans don't want a food fight. Yeah. They want to know right. how you're going to put, put food, food on, on their table. table. Yeah. And yeah. that was clearly a rehearsed line, but it but really it worked. worked. But it worked. But it worked. But it yeah. worked. Yeah. 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 Kamala Harris had a moment that was two hours long. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she, it, I mean, a star was born. You said you tonight. said earlier tonight at yeah. eight o'clock that you yeah. were waiting for Kamala Harris was, to have her moment. You've I, known and, her for and listen, years. Uh, listen, a star was born tonight. Uh, this is a masterful uh, performance. Uh, she completely dominated the stage, and most importantly, she would kick Donald Trump's butt, and she proved it tonight. That was if, if you had any doubt that you could nominate a woman that would take Donald Trump to the woodshed, she just took it away from you. So, on the, you know, last night, we had a breakout, uh, Castro. Tonight, we had a breakdown, Biden. Uh, he had the most to lose, and I think he lost it. In that, he never became that guy that everybody goes, that's Joe. This is the guy that's going to make Trump look like an idiot. This is the guy that's going to bring us back together. He just couldn't pull it together. And so... We don't know so, if voters will respond I don't know that if voters. Yet. I'm just saying... They if, like him a lot. Right, but let me, and, let me just finish. Uh, yeah. Let me just finish. The most important thing I can say tonight is the two most impressive people on that stage, a young gay guy and a black woman. In America tonight, if you look at... What, this, this Democratic Party, Elizabeth Warren, a woman, Kamala Harris, a black woman, and a young gay guy... Add Castro to that. And then at Castro, right. this is a something is happening in this party. Something's happening in this country. You got to be proud of America tonight, and you got to be proud of Kamala Harris. I'm she so butt. proud that in two nights we saw two women win Dominate. night. That was for all of the conversation as they were starting to get in about whether or not America was ready, about whether it was too risky to do that. I think that question has been asked and answered, and then some with the performance tonight. If it weren't for the fact that Joe Biden was the front runner going in except for that one moment with Kamala, we wouldn't be discussing his performance at all. Yeah. It simply wouldn't have registered. Governor McAuliffe, earlier you talked about Joe Biden's going to walk away from here fine, Sanders as well. How do you feel now? Listen, I thought it was a great night for the Democrats. This was a great debate tonight. Totally different than last night. I mean, literally within the first 15 minutes, we'd hit health care, we'd hit immigration, we hit education. Uh, it was a great, great debate. And Last night, I hate to say it, it was like the kids' table compared to what you saw today. These t questions were tougher tonight, but you had a substantive discussion on all of these big issues. Uh, it was a big win for Kamala. I agree 100%. Um, you watched her tonight. She can take on Donald Trump. For Democrats, the single most important factor is who can stand on that debate stage, take what he's going to give, and give it back to him harder. And she proved she could certainly do that, and she could do it all night long. So, great night. I agree. I think Mayor Pete had a great performance. Um, Joe Biden should have been prepared for that question. I don't know why, when he was answering the question, he stopped and said, I ran out of time. There's nobody who ever pays attention to the clock. He didn't say I ran out of time. He said, like, my, my time is up. Uh, which is... Yeah. Uh, my time how, is how, 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 yeah. let's, be, let's be honest about this. He wasn't not prepared, okay? They've been preparing for this debate for weeks. And ever since this incident... Uh, where he made the comments about uh, Eastland and Talmadge, it was clear this question was going to come up. And so, right. for whatever reason, he it came up. Maybe it was because it came from Senator Harris, uh, and she put it in such personal terms mm -hmm. that it, it, it rattled him, although that might have been predictable as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it goes to something else, which is how, you know, the, the question I raised earlier was... Uh, will he will he come out of this where people say he is up to it, he's into it, he's engaged, and I think that he he's contributed to more let, questions. Let, let, let but David Naya said, "You go to a states' rights discussion. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's your answer. Right. There is yeah. no way you could have prepared for that. Yeah. Right. To come out with a comprehensive answer to end this issue and move on with the campaign. I'm sure yeah. he had but a better answer. He just didn't give it.